everybody, it's Body Games, and welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts Recoded. In the last episode, we landed here in Traverse Town, and we started doing some stuff and things. We found Huey and Dewey just lying around in uh, the first and second district, and now we're off to the third district to find Louie. Meanwhile, we completely stacked our entire command deck with Thundara, and it's going to be completely busted. Ah, are you kidding? Yeah, speaking of busted. That's not too much of a clean-up job with Thundara. Nice and quick, nice and easy. But yeah, there's a few more blocks here and there, and that could be a problem, but that's eh, not too bad. Go ahead and hit that just in case, and I don't remember if I hit the one up there, but let's go ahead and do it. I don't even think I hit it. Clearly I didn't because nothing popped out. Oh, I was trying to lock onto the- oh god! Yeah, that could have done a lot of damage on critical mode. Hey, we gained a level up chip. Actually, yeah, and I haven't even equipped the other uh, stats from the last episode at the end of the last um, back door. So we're going to have to do that in just a moment. And that moment is now. Okay, so... Actually, no, we're good on command. Stats... Uh, we got a level up chip, and are we... About to go all the way? We are about to go all the way. All right, so keep an eye on this. As of now, we've got level four, HP 74, strength, and defense are at 35, magic is at 34. But as soon as we equip this other magic, okay, uh, you see the jump. You see how much higher we're about to go from equipping one more stat. That is a very nice boost. And that is the power of dual processing. And it gets even better because as we go through the game, there are going to be other stat chips that actually boost by more than just plus one. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure if they go all the way to plus five, but I'm 100% positive they go to at least plus four. So yeah, just having that, and we're going to have more dual processing throughout the game. Dual, proce dual processing throughout the entire game. So yeah, you're going to want to equip as many of those as possible and I don't feel like fighting every single shadow here so I'm uh, not gonna but yeah we can't even go through this door that doesn't lead up to the next area and yeah as I feared I did not hit that block so let's see if I can hit it from right here that is a negative Got it. Okay, and that was just an ether, so it didn't even matter, but hey, we got it. Alright, doesn't look like there's any more uh, ladder to climb. So we're actually just going to head off to the 3rd District now. Actually, wait a minute. Hold that thought. Because I know I want to get on top of this roof. But I'm trying to remember exactly how I do that. I mean, I'm going to get the answer soon enough. I mean, it's going to happen before I leave for sure. And also, this little bugger's hidden away. And that was a lot of nothing. Okay, great. Alright, here we go. Here's the platforming. So we could just go right to the next district, or do that. Um, and no, that's actually the dead end. That's all we came up here for. We're gonna get on that roof. I swear, we're getting to that roof. And also, I know there's something up here, so... Oh, it's right there. You saw the block? Did I really miss it again? There it is, and it's a blank chip of all things. Not that we have enough to get all the way up here, but... One more blank chip. Or one more of any chip. And we're gonna get one more command slot. And here's a shop, just in case you need to grab something, because... Yeah, if there's a shop right here, you know something's about to go down. And if you play Kingdom Hearts 1, you already know something's about to go down. Louie, are you there? Louie! Huh, no response. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, well, maybe they're all named Louie. Maybe they're all like, what do you want, man? 
It's our turf, see? I don't know why I'm giving the the soldiers like this freaking black and white television mob voice. Yeah, she? Why you keep smacking me with a giant key, she? Louis assemble! And now they're uh, Captain America mobs. Cool. I need these Thundaras to cool down a little faster. Oh, oops. And now we're using our first speed combo. Which, yeah, as long as you do the right input, you just keep swinging. And you're invincible while you're doing set swing, so it's almost like a limit? Well, a Kingdom Hearts 2 limit, but not exactly. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I didn't want that guy behind me to hit me. Oh, boy. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Hold up. They all had blocks protecting you. Out of here with those shenanigans. Alright, these should all die to... Yes! One single finisher combo. As long as I can get them all in the swing, they all die to a single finisher. Oh, well. And they call it a speed combo for a reason. The faster you do it, the more hits you can get out. Even though you're uh, capped out at 15, but I mean, hey, 15 free shots versus one spam happy finisher? I don't know. Let's see. Hmm, still no Louie. Guess I'll check back at Sid's. Huh? Hey! Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. He's headed for the first district? Follow the stranger. Or, you know, maneuver around a little more. See what else uh, they've got hiding over here in the third district. Yeah, I think I'm gonna find out what else they're hiding in the third district. Cause like I said, a single uh, stat chip of any kind will give us a new command. Well, new command slot. And the more command slots, the better. Even if you want to spam the same moves over and over again, having one more command slot will let you use one more move and give the rest a little more time to get uh, their cooldown. So definitely worth. Um, yeah, I don't think Thundara would actually hit from this far distance. Well, I mean, if I were to try it from the ground, I think it's a little too high for Thundara, but... Oops. I didn't even need to use that other one. All right, so a defense plus one and... Wait, is that our way to the roof? Hold up. We about to figure this out, ladies and gents. Also, uh, Lady in the Tramp. Uh, Lady in the Tramp, there we go. I don't remember if I actually showed that off in my Kingdom Hearts 1 LP or not, but there it is if you guys are interested. Yeah, and also no uh, using fire to open up this door. Trust me, I tried. <laughs> Thought it'd be a cool little secret to get into another area, but nah, they don't want to do that. That'd be too much work. Oh, excuse. The auto jump didn't work. Thanks, game. All right, let go. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of like right angle, 90 degree turns. And then over here, this is how you would normally get to the block. And nope, that is not how you get to the roof. Gosh dang darn it. I know you can get to those roofs. There he is. But where's everybody else? All right, fess up. These glitches are your doing. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, I'm talking to you. <laughs> and he's not talking to you, Sora. This guy just likes doors, huh? Find the back door. That he walked directly into from before. Just like on Destiny Islands. And yeah, this is the door I was talking about in the last episode where I went all around looking for the back door. 
the one that was directly like over there by the uh, synthesis shop or what would be the synthesis shop yeah this is the first place I checked and when I came to find out later that this is here a quick collision of my palm and my forehead Alrighty, and now just another single floor uh, room, but now there's several rooms to the floor actually, so Let's go ahead and clear all these guys out. That's a little annoying. Would you please you know what? Did I actually hit everything up here? I did not, but now I did. And see all this platforming that they want you to do to get up there? Nah, Thundara. Thundara's amazing. I highly recommend. Hello! That is the worst thing in the early game. Is a glitched out large body. Oh boy, if they can actually get a couple hits on you, you are dead on critical mode. It is the worst, trust me. Be cautious. And we're gonna grab this. Just get as much SP as possible. And trust me, I've seen this specific floor way too many times. As you go through the game, you'll realize they reuse the same floor layouts over and over. Well, not the same floor layouts, the same room layouts. So you'll see this exact room several times throughout the entire game. And yes, even in all the required uh, sectors like this. Because there will be optional ones throughout the entire game after you've completed each world, you can go back once you've had uh, higher levels of scan, and you can just get more accessories, more, uh, well, not plot advancements, but you'll be able to do just extras towards completing the game, getting uh, extra items for certain people so that they can give you buffs or uh, stat chips or debug chips or something along those lines. So yeah, if you want to complete this game and do all that, Feel free, be my guest. I'm not gonna do all that, but I will at least show off the gist of it. And you guys will be able to easily see, like whenever you go to any world and try to do any of the favors, you're basically doing the harder leveled sectors. And it just gives you more stuff throughout the game. All right, let's see. Oh boy, these are bad too. These are horrendously bad. Can y'all please? I am not about to platform. You are out of your mind if you think I'm about to platform. Alright, now we are done. We actually gotta go into the last room we just came out of. Well, the previous room. But I'm going to go into the last room. Please don't be anything bad. Okay, we're good. Okay, so when I said please don't be anything bad, um, it's kind of a spoiler warning. Sometimes, at random, when you've completed a floor, and I don't even think necessarily you have to have completed the floor, there's an extremely hard boss that is based on the Defender Heartless, which is that uh, guard dog shield dude, the one that just kind of stands there big and sturdy and he holds a shield that looks like a dog. Yeah, those are defenders and there's a hard version of them that's super fast, super strong, can teleport, and will most likely one-shot you even on an earlier difficulty besides critical. So, highly recommended if you see one of those, get out. And if, unfortunately, the room where you're trying to move on to the next floor happens to be that room, uh, good luck. That's basically all I gotta say. But at the same time, I don't think it's going to appear too early in the game. But at the same time, I don't know when it's going to appear. No idea. All right, so we get energy bombs. Surround yourself with orbs of light, then detonate them all at once. That is a uh, finisher, and I... Well, at least I believe it's a finisher. And I think I'm going to equip that, if it's what I think it is. And I don't care for any of those. I'm just going to max out my experience. 
Even though, probably would have been a good idea to just get those anyway, because... I'd rather just use commands that I've already got. But... If I absolutely have to buy some, meh, whatever. Good, everybody's back. Hope the glitches don't get any worse than that. <laughs> oh, your hopes mean nothing. And go see Sid. Sid, are you guys alright? The first ditch has gone crazy. Huh? What's this now? Seems as quiet as ever to me. More like boring as ever. Yeah, Sora, you feeling okay? Wait, you mean you didn't... How could they not have noticed that? Still no word on Louis? He wasn't in the third district. Where else can I look? Hmm, let's see. Um, good question. I'll, uh, I'll just do another sweep of the town. Good man. Be careful now, you hear? No problem, Bob. My name's Sid. I, I know, it's an expression. Making up your own dialogue still? Yeah, I'm bored. <laughs> anyway. Another sweep of the town, and boom. More blocks. Whoa! Look at all these blocks. Huh? What's going on down the street? Yeah, uh, stuff and things. There's a lot of extra blocks. Oh, and look, fire enemies. The Red Nocturne showed up kind of early, huh? So if they do hit you, they can ignite you, which is a great reason to put on the, uh, the accessory that makes it to where you can't be ignited. What was it, fire chain? Fire chain. Whoa, what? This building, it's flat as a pancake. Is somebody there? Hey! Louis, where are you? Um, can I get back to you on that? All I know is I was standing on top of a building. So when the building got distorted, Louis vanished? I better fix this glitch fast for his sake. Here it goes. So remember I was worried about getting on the roof so I can get across those buildings over there? I honestly forgot that it was part of the plot. Alright, so it's not here. And I believe it's over here. Here. Into the strange portal to investigate? Of course. When have we not? Alright, slider blocks. You can move the blue blocks with the turquoise pattern someplace more useful by hitting them with your keyblade. AKA make platforms. So these aren't gonna break, you can just move them. And then that'll let you go higher, but clearly not right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and clear those out. Clear those out. Really? Thundar, you don't wanna work with me now? You're gonna be that command? But yeah, keep moving them and you can move on your platforming. Yeah, I do have to admit, even though Recoded's style, like, isn't the best among the series, for what it's worth, I love how they gradually teach you, like, little thing by little thing, and then by, like, halfway through the game, you just have to do everything you've been taught the entire time, and it just gets harder and harder as it goes. Like... The forward progress system in this game is probably one of the better ones in the entire series. Love or hate the game, you have to at least give it that. And see a pair of blocks, so each blue block with a star has a corresponding light green block with a star somewhere in the area. Pa both of these pair of blocks will move if you hit them. And whenever you connect them together, you get a prize block. Some of these are great, some of these are pointless, but this is just here for the sake of showing you. And then you get a bunch of SP, but sometimes they actually give you, uh, stat chips and whatnot. Which, speaking of stat chips... I was mentioning this earlier and completely forgot to put it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a blank chip here to not waste my dual processing. And now I can use it to four slot groups. I'm actually about to uh, utilize one of those. 
Um, and here we'll throw another two down. And that'll give us another command that will give us combo plus. So now we can use four attacks, I believe. I think that's four attacks instead of, uh, yeah, a combo plus. Uh, another one of these. And see, we got a high potion out of that one, so sometimes these are worth it. I find it weird that all the starting ones are this close. Okay, move a little bit. But later on, they'll be a little more tedious. There'll be one high and one low, so on and so forth. This is just for the sake of showing you. And also, I think it's to show the curiosity factor and be like, hey, what happens if I keep going this way? And then ultimately, see, like I just got done saying, Higher level, oh god. Goodbye. Goodbye. One last time, and goodbye. Goodbye, soldiers. Annoying little things, aren't they? Well, annoying medium-sized thing, whatever. They're some of the worst heartless in the game. Now, oh, hello. Yeah, not even died in one shot. Maybe I'm just in a sour spot. I had to be in a sour spot. Cause you saw I hit two of them in one shot and they completely died. Just obliterated. But anyway, we're gonna go to Command Matrix. Convert these, make them stronger. And what would these make? Spark Dash and Thunder Edge? Nah. Yeah, the stronger they get, uh, the more damage they'll do. Let's go ahead and throw uh, another thunder here. Why not? Well, that's why. Actually, I think we're out. Yeah, we're out of extra ones for uh, different abilities or different commands. So we could have Spark Dash and uh, was the other Thunder Edge? Yeah, th let's just have them on for the sake of showing what they do. And that I don't have nothing but Thundara. I'm not gonna keep them, but I'm gonna at least put them on now so I can start leveling them up. All right, last one is a bit of a bigger room. Do a little sweep of the ground floor. Oh, hello, soldier. Hello. Yeah, I gotta love when the attacks don't go through because you barely get scraped. Okay, okay, move. Yay, and I have no way of healing at the moment. Awesome. Uh, that's not gonna do me any good. Oh boy. Let's see if I can actually get HP out of this. I could just accept the sweet embrace of death, but, um... Yeah, no thank- oh, wait a minute. These are right next to each other, I didn't even notice from the ground. Oh, not even enough to stop the beeping! Okay, where's the other one? Oh, that's it. For some reason, I was thinking that was a platform block. How did I just perfectly get this on the edge? Okay, get that down. I'm trying to be extra careful here. Knock that to the ground. Uh-oh. Nope. Yeah, I'm just gonna knock those together. Hope to get a little HP out of it. And then I can spam my Thundars. Yeah, critical mode, you are a little heartless sometimes, no pun intended. Okay, goodbye. See, that's the greatest part about this, is that if you do damage heartless and then run, they had the exact same amount of HP when they respawn. It's not like the other games where when they 
despawn and respawn in their original spot, they're completely refreshed. So, uh, take advantage of that if you absolutely have to, like I just did. Because I don't feel like dying today. Yeah, sliding dash would actually be very nice here. Just make that a little quicker, but... Nah, we're gonna take this platform. We're gonna move it over. Oops. That's how we get up here. Oh boy. I'm scared. Oh, he respawned while he was still on screen. I mean, yeah, that happens sometimes, but oh boy. Spark Dash, you're actually not too bad right now. I like having that level up chip. I'm about to put that between my dual processing. Oh boy. Can I have one moment before you guys spam me? Okay, we're slowly getting HP back. I think I'm back up. I don't know. I think I'm back in a safe zone. Um. So yeah, we're gonna replace a blank chip and see. Just like that, we're gonna get four more HP, uh, two more strength, magic, and defense. Yeah, that's why. I love the fact that you can swap out these chips at any time. You just can't remove them, which meh. I mean, that would add another layer of strategy, but at the same time, I think it would take away one. I think the way they got it is perfect. I don't think I would change it. All right, so the last one. You know what? We're putting on a sliding dash. Wrong one. Wrong one again. Actually, no, no. Gear Matrix. We got to put on the new uh, energy bomb. Yeah, let's do that. And uh, yeah, we're going to leave the fire charm on. I'll stop going on the wrong one eventually. Uh, let's do, uh, remove the whole thing, put sliding dash back. You know, let's put on the higher level one. And we'll leave Thunder Edge, why not? Let that cool down and we'll just jump clear across. That's going to save a lot of time for the platforming, is if we could just slide in the air from one platform to the next. Just like that. And by the way, attacks like Thunder Edge that are ground-based attacks, if you're in the air, you'll drop immediately. Like, I, I think there won't even be a uh, falling frame data thing. I think it's just going to be you use it, you, like, teleport to the ground and attack. It's that fast. I mean, that's kind of an exaggeration, but no, that's how fast. You will just drop down and use the attack immediately. All right, we're going to get the Blizzard Charm. Lucky Strike, that's still another stat. Um, Magic Plus, of course. Rising Strike, why not? Well, why not? Because we could have gotten another Thunder, but... Now nah, we're going to redeem the rest for experience. It's not flat as a pancake anymore. Hello? Anybody down there? It's coming from the top of the building. Good thing we can actually go up there now. And here I was wondering why I couldn't come up here. Oh yeah, the plot. And before I even deal with you, let's go ahead and hit this. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be anything, but... More importantly, um, more importantly, uh, more importantly, strength plus one. There we go. See, I knew there was a purpose of coming up here. I knew there was. I didn't know exactly what for, but a strength plus one, that's brilliant. That's great. With all these heartless, I might even level up again by complete accident. 
I've had it happen. Where I just clear all Heartless along the way and then just get another level up chip. Well, let's go ahead and equip that real quick. Over a blank chip once again. Oops. Strength. Um, you know what? No, no, no. Let's put the magic. Boost up the Thundar a little bit. And then... Yeah, I think that'll do it. And now we can just start working our way down. Because a new section is going to start down here. I'm honestly not sure which of those I really want to go for. You know what? I'll just start putting the blank chips here. And you know what? You know what? Now, no matter what... As soon as we get a debug device, we could just unlock either one of those and then move on from there. Might be a waste, but meh. And now, let's talk to Louie. You alright? Yeah, thanks to you. Good, let's get you back to SIDS. Oh, Louie, have you seen anything like this? Now Sora's just asking for the L. Huh? Huh? Hey, yeah! I've got one too, check it out! See if it fits with the pieces I've got. A bigger, bigger, bigger L. Whoa, it sure does, but look! Yeah, we're still missing a part. What do you think it's supposed to be, a keyhole? A keyhole? Hey, wait a second. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Sorry, let's go back to SIDS. Head back to SIDS. I can read. And we obtain Blizzard, which, you know what? Let's see what we can work with here. Instead of sliding dash, I don't think we need it at the moment. Let's throw Blizzard down and see, will any of these give me Blizzara instead of something else? That's gonna be Blizzard Edge. Ice Dash. Thundara? We'll just stay Blizzard. Well, but, but it'll be level 8. Yeah, I can still level up the other Thundara as well. Yeah, we can leave it like this. But Blizzard will be nice because it's a multi-hit spell, so it'll keep moving towards the opponent that it's locked onto. I think it could be better to show. And you can see that it just kept going, but if there was another enemy that it was honed onto, it would have kept going towards them until it ran out, which regular Blizzard will run out kind of fast, but it'll still be working.